Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. Up in my computer room again uh, tonight, and I uh, wanted to do another email video cast. The one that I did a couple weeks ago seemed to go over pretty well. I uh, got a lot of positive response from it, so I thought I would uh, give it another try. And I uh, got a few things to talk about tonight uh, a few emails and a couple of uh, little pieces of information that I want to pass along. Uh, but first, I want to talk about uh, the giveaway that we're doing on the blog. And again, uh, we're giving away a copy of Coyote Stencil Shop. And uh, I've got a lot of uh, entries already, well over 100 entries. And uh, the giveaway is about uh, 12 days away. And uh, so if you haven't signed up yet, go ahead over to my blog at www www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and uh, when you go there you will scroll down a little ways and you will see this picture on, uh, on the blog and just below that you'll see where you can uh, sign up so go uh, read the uh, rules uh, for the entry sign up and give yourself a chance to win uh, what is probably the easiest piece of software out there to create portrait style patterns for your scroll saw Okay, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, one of my fellow bloggers out there, Travis, over at Scroll Saw Goodies, is uh, beginning to start a new uh, podcast for the Scroll Saw. And I really think this is a great idea, and I just want to encourage everybody to uh, support his podcast. And uh, so I want to take you over to his site just for a minute and uh, give you an idea of what he's uh, uh, got going there. When you go over to uh, Scroll Saw Goodies, which is scrollsawgoodies.blogspot.com, uh, the post that uh, Travis just made uh, September 15th uh, will give you an introduction to the podcast that he's going to uh, start to produce. Now, if you're not familiar with podcasts, they're basically uh, radio uh, programs that are broadcast uh, over the Internet. And uh, they're really nice because uh, you can have them automatically downloaded to your computer and uh, give yourself something to listen to uh, when the TV's not so hot or, or you're out traveling in your car and uh, you can't find anything on the radio. You can download these podcasts to your MP3 player and take them with you. Um, I personally subscribe to almost 40 podcasts. Uh, I spend most of my time listening to podcasts when I'm traveling for work. Uh, I really like them, so I wanted to just take a minute, take you over to Travis's site, and uh, show you a little bit about how this works. If you're an iTunes user, and again, you can use iTunes and not own an iPod. You can actually download iTunes for free and uh, use it on your computer to listen to these free podcasts. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy that if you do. But uh, over here on Travis's site, you'll see this little icon right here that says Pod. Now, if you click on that, that will go ahead and play the podcast. And as Travis posts new ones, you could do that uh, again. You could go back and click on it. But a much easier way is to have these podcasts automatically downloaded to your computer. So if you read this article that Travis has put up here, here he's going to explain a little bit about how RSS syndication works. And basically all that is is a way of getting these radio shows to your computer without you having to go looking for them. And uh, if you read down through this paragraph, you'll see a uh, link that says RSS feed URL. Go ahead and click on that link, and that will take you to the feed uh, for uh, Scroll Saw Goodies blog. Go up to the URL bar and left click and highlight that whole URL up here at the top, and then right click and click copy. And uh, basically, all you've done is copied that uh, URL into your uh, clipboard and now you can go ahead and bring iTunes up and once you get iTunes up and loaded it's a very simple matter of going to the advanced menu item up here at the top and scroll down until it says subscribe to podcast click on that that will open up another dialog box that says URL you can then paste that URL into that box click OK and what that will do is that will go ahead and add that podcast to your iTunes directory. And then the next time that uh, Travis uh, uploads a uh, podcast about scroll, the scroll saw, it will automatically be downloaded into your iTunes uh, directory and you can be able to listen to it uh, the next time you log on. So just wanted to give you just a real quick uh, touch on that because I really think we need to support Travis and what he's trying to do. Um, th there are not a great number of uh, woodworking and craft uh, podcasts out there uh, and it, as far as I know there's none for the scroll saw so 
uh, let's uh, all give Travis uh, a little support there and help him get up and started on uh, his new podcast. And uh, I think we'll all enjoy it if, if uh, he can get it going. So, so uh, support Travis by going over to scrollsawgoodies.blogspot.com. Um, tell him what a great idea you think his podcast is. And even if you just listen to it on his website, it still sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, now real quick, I want to get to a couple of emails before we go here. And uh, I've got two emails that are pretty similar, and I get these emails uh, at, at least once a month. This is pretty common. I use lemon oil to treat most of the scroll saw projects that I create, and people see me using this lemon oil in my videos, and uh, I, I get a lot of emails asking me why I do that. Basically, I use lemon oil because I can dip the small scroll saw projects down into a container of lemon oil and basically I can finish the project in a matter of just seconds as opposed to trying to either uh, paint it on with a brush or apply it with a rag. Now a couple things about lemon oil. Lemon oil is really not a um, a product that you would use to protect the wood. What all lemon oil does is it restores the natural oil that wood loses over time and it really brings out the grain and the color of the wood. Uh, so it looks very pretty but it provides no protection at all. So after I use the lemon oil I always go back and, and uh, give it some protection by spraying it with a spray lacquer and that will help it maintain that color and also give it some protection from moisture. And I had a couple emails uh, this week. One was from uh, Kathleen and uh, her email said, uh, I just joined your email list. Uh, I'd like to try some of the ornaments, but I couldn't catch what kind of oil you soak them in. Uh, thank you for your inspiration. I'm pretty new to scroll sawing. Uh, well, Kathleen, that's what I use. I use lemon oil. I put it in a large Tupperware bowl and just dip the projects in it. Okay, and I had a second email that was somewhat similar to that, but with a twist, and uh, this one's from Dean, and he says, uh, I have a couple of questions about using lemon oil. First, where do you buy the lemon oil? And second, does it compare with using tongue oil? And uh, what Dean had done is he had uh, tried to use the tongue oil in the Tupperware container like I do, and when he opened it up the next time, it had congealed and uh, basically made a mess. And uh, uh, no, they're not the same. Um, lemon oil is just a uh, restore, at, whereas tongue oil actually dries onto the surface and actually provides protection from moisture. So it's actually a drying oil, uh, where lemon oil is not a drying oil. Uh, so they're they're really not the same thing so when you go to the store and I buy my lemon oil at the grocery store uh, go back to the furniture uh, restoration or sometimes you'll just find it in the cleaning supplies at the uh, grocery store and just look for lemon oil and just realize that it's not going to protect the wood so that's a little bit of information on the lemon oil I wanted to share with you guys uh, a couple more things here and then we'll let it go uh, one is I got an email from uh, Bill in Australia and he's looking for some scroll saw blade storage tubes. He'd seen the ones that I showed in a video last week and uh, they were uh, I'd purchased those from Amazon and he can't get Amazon to ship internationally to Australia apparently. So I know we have a lot of readers down in Australia and if anybody knows where Bill can uh, buy some scroll saw blade storage tubes um, that he can get shipped into Australia. If you could email me and I could pass that along to him, that would be great. And last and real quick, because we're running out of time here, I want to show a picture of some bookmarks that I received from Fritz. Now, Fritz had seen the uh, bookmark patterns that I had published and uh, he wanted to create some of his own. So what he did is he went out and bought some veneer and actually created uh, some thin plywood to cut his uh, bookmarks out of by just uh, laminating the veneers together until he got the thickness he wanted and after playing with that for a little while he noticed that he decided he wanted to try the inlay technique so in the next uh, video I do I'll try to talk about the technique he used to make this but in this one I just wanted to show you the pictures of it and how nicely it turned out thanks for it uh, those are really great Okay, thanks for visiting me here tonight at the Scroll Saw Workshop. I hope you enjoy this little email video cast, and we'll see you next week at the Scroll Saw Workshop.